In this video, we will show you how to replace your door lock, window switch, and mirror switch assembly on this Chevy Tahoe. This will be located in your left front door panel. Let's get started. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that I want to mention is to remove the window switch and bezel area from here. There's actually a small screw that should be right up along the front. So we're going to have to remove the entire door panel to access it. Let's start removing the door panel by removing this top trim panel first. We'll use a plastic trim tool for this. Carefully get in between this area and gently pry it out of position. Now we can move along to removing our door lock lever. Use a small screwdriver, get in between here and pry it out of position. Let's give that a quick inspection. Set it aside. Behind that area, you'll find a seven millimeter headed bolt. Go ahead and remove it. Now let's move down to where the inside door handle is. You'll find that you have another trim panel to remove. Just pop this out of place. Now let's move down here and remove our courtesy light using a small pocket screwdriver. Just get under here and pop it out of place. Disconnect the electrical connector. Give each area a quick check for corrosion. We'll tuck the wire inside. Now along this side, you're going to find that you have a small plastic cover. We'll remove that with our small pocket screwdriver. And we can use a T20 Torx bit to remove the mounting screw. Now we can make our way over to the other side of the door panel and we'll remove this push clip using a trim tool. Just pry that right out of place. Quick inspection, set it aside. Now if you were to look underneath the inside door handle, you'll find that you have a seven millimeter headed bolt. Remove it. Now we can take hold of that door panel. We're going to lift it straight up and start pulling it away from the door. But keep in mind there is wiring behind this area. We'll use our small pocket screwdriver so we can remove this area. Gently pry up against that tab. We can push it through. Give this a little twist. Bring it out towards the center. Now let's turn the door panel so we have access to all of the bottom of the window switch area. You'll find that you have several electrical connectors to disconnect. We'll use our small pocket screwdriver, carefully get in this area, gently press on the locking tab, and pull out the wiring connector. As always, we'll check it for corrosion, and we can set that aside. We'll continue down the line. We can set this aside. For this one, it's a little bit different. You're going to have to press in on this little black tab before you lift up on the gray locking connector. Now we can tug this out of position. Move along to this one. We can start removing the window switch and window bezel. To do that, we're going to remove this Phillips head screw. Now let's have a look at the outside here. We're going to use a small trim tool and come along this area and pop this out of place. Get right under here. Give that a little twist to separate it. Now we're going to lift up at an angle, swinging it up diagonally and then bringing it out of the door panel. Let's have a look at each side of this. You'll find that you have some locking clips. Use a small pocket screwdriver to dislodge those. Come right in between this area, gently pry it apart. While I'm doing that, I'm also trying to pull the switch out of the window bezel.
There it is, friends. All right, friends, let's get ready for our installation. Let's take that switch and put it into the panel. Line it up, press it in. Listen for several clicks all the way around and give it a tug to make sure it's secure. Now we'll take this and we'll put it in place, making sure that we align our mounting bolt hole and our push clip hole. Now we can put in our mounting screw up here. Snug it up. Make sure that's secure. Now let's get ready to install that door panel. Reconnect all of your electrical connectors. Now we can start putting this in position. Let's make sure we grab this and pull it out as well. Let's install this on the door panel. Now we can get this installed. Listen for a click. Slide this into position. Lock it into the door panel. Let's move along to the door handle trim piece. Looking along the back side, you can tell that the forward end has a little hook that needs to slide around the door panel. And tug on this. We'll start the forward side in first. And now latch it in. Now we can put in the screw that goes just above that. Now we can install our Torx head screw. Get this in position. Install your plastic cover. Let's get that push clip in here. Now we can put in the screw that goes behind the door lock. Continue on to the door lock lever. You'll find along the back side you have a hole. You want to make sure it lines up with the door lock rod. Press this into position. Continue on to your last trim piece. Let's take this and slide it into position, align our push tabs, and lock it in. All right, friends, the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and test the window switch functionality. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.